Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Behringer and welcome to our Knowledge Base video series. Today we're going to cover a basic setup guide for our Euphoria USB interfaces. Now the first step we want to take is to go to www.behringer.com and download the drivers. Now this is just for PC users as Macs do not require any drivers. And as you can see, I'm on Behringer.com. I'm going to type into the search box UMC204, as that's the unit I'm using. And here I get to the UMC204 page. So I'll just click on Downloads. Scroll down the page, and you'll see I come to the driver section. So here you have all the drivers you can download. Uh, there's a few choices there in this case. I'll just take the Windows 7 to Windows 10 driver and I'll just let that download. So next step would be to connect our UMC device with the USB cable. So quite simple here. We just plug into the UMC first and then we'll connect the other end to the computer. So once we're all connected, the next step is to install the driver. Of course, this is just for PC users and it's not required for Mac. Here I'll just double click the driver setup file and you'll get your familiar installation procedure. Select a location where you want to install it. So here you'll see a little dialog box open up on the task manager on the bottom right. I'll just click that little bubble window there and it will show me that Windows is searching for a driver to allocate to the USB device. In this case, it's found it and it's ready to use, so that's great. I'll just press OK, click Next, and then click Finish. So now that's all installed, the next step is to set up the audio preferences. We'll do this on PC first. So just right click the little speaker icon on the bottom right and select either Playback or Recording Devices. You'll see the Sound Options window open up. And here we can see the UMC204, so we'll right click it and we'll select it as default device. We'll do the same for the input, which we'll also set as default communications device. So once that's done, we're all set up on PC and everything should be ready to record. Okay, so let's look at audio preferences for Mac. So this is quite straightforward, obviously connect your device via USB, which we did earlier. You want to go to your finder window, go to applications, then go to your utilities folder and you'll see a little keyboard icon there. That's audio MIDI setup. We'll double click that and that will open up the audio devices window. So here we can see our connected devices. As you can see, there's the UMC204. So we'll just click on that device, then we'll control click it or right click it and you'll see some options there. It says use this device for default sound input. Uh, which obviously we'll select and there's also the option to use this device as default sound output which we'll select as well. 